gone. Not yet. It's too early. The sun's already up. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Now. What the horses did. What the hell happened here? It's Dwight Russell. Give me a hand. Dr. Cleese! Dr. Cleese! Caught in the stampede. Stampede's not what killed him. There ain't no horse can do that to a man. What do you mean? It's like someone tried to tear out his throat. Since you and your carpet bag and partner, God rest his soul, arrived in this town, you have been nothing but a pain in the ass. Yeah, well, if you can spend all your time whoring, you might have noticed this by now. When my sheriff gets back, he will deal with this. By that time, the killer will be clean all the way to Mouse City. Ruckman, dozens of strangers and reprobates pass through this town every day. I'm sure the killer's long gone already. Why is dead, and you are the only law that matters in this town, and you know it. I'm prepared to offer a bounty of $50 if you, Rudman, are prepared to match it. I sure as hell am. You're wasting your time. Oh, yes? A wolf will tear a man's throat out like that. I've seen it. So you just let anyone drink in this establishment now, is that it? I never refused you, have I? Or no wolf. Man did it. Suit yourself. I saw the markings in the corral. 
If you can prove it was an animal, well, then $100 is yours. You satisfied, Mr. Rubner? Dwight was a good man. And good men are hard to come by. And we gotta show people what happens when they cross people like us. You know what I mean. You and me got the same perspective. Rutman, you and I don't have the same anything. Well, you got the polish and the manners, but that's all that's different between you and me. You are nothing but a two-bit con man with a little money and a lot of gold. That's my point. Tell me something. Did uh, Mr. Russell have any relatives back east? None that I know. Oh, well, I guess that means you're 100% owner of the land agency. Doesn't it now? Mosby, you want to be the person that matters in this town? You find the killer of Dwight Russell. Hope I didn't offend him. Whiskey. You look like you could, uh, Use a hundred dollars. Yeah, so. Plan to go after this bounty? Half of it. Rutman's half. What about this whole animal thing? These... Seem to be offending everybody today. Play. Just the man I was looking for? Really? Nice town, Mr. Mosby. I hear there's a murderer on the loose. Could be. Well, perhaps, the experts tell me, a wild beast. <laughs> this town's full of wild beasts. <laughs> what do you recommend I tell my guests? Amanda, tell them the streets are perfectly safe. Really? I heard the poor man had his throat slit wide open. Yes, last week three men died of gunshot wounds. Welcome to Curtis Wells. Well, that seems like an awful lot of overkill if somebody's trying to steal horses. Well, that's what they were after. They're not real good at it. Those horses belonged to Rutman, and Rutman got them all back. You've never particularly liked Mr. Rutman, have you? And you have? I wouldn't want to live in the town he was running. You never will. <laughs> you will keep me abreast of any new developments. You'll be the first to know. What are you doing, huh, Bob? I'm just looking. Find anything? No. Nope. Uh, best leave bounty hunting to those of us who know what they're doing. You ain't right to tear up a man like that. No question in that. Yeah, I know. What? Why don't you and me partner up? I don't think so. Well, I wouldn't step in your way. I know, but... Bounty hunting is dangerous work, huh, Bob? Yeah, but so's most things. You're busy enough as it is. you need for him. What? Well, Mr. Russell. Ah, well, they all rot just the same, don't they? Yeah, but some people like a nicer box for a special friend. Well, there's no sense burying good money now, is there? Well, I guess not. You're a smart man. I'll see you at the funeral. Uh, Mr. Rotman. What is it? it what kind of man do you think would have killed your friend? Well, that's what I put the bounty down for to find out. Did he have a fight with anybody? Uh, so they want to kill him? Why are you asking all these? Well, calling me a partner and up. We're going to get the man that killed your friend. Of course you are. You're going bounty hunting. I don't have time for this, you half-wit. You do what you do best and put Dwight in his box.
found your wolf yet? The bounty's mine. Just wait and see. Heard tell some tribes kill men to get their strength. Not among the Métis. We're only half savage. Take offense easy. Half Indian, half French. It's hot blood. I've seen what the Métis can do. Kill if you have you. None didn't force it on me. Take a man's land. It tends to make him angry. What the hell you want? What killed Russell? Or no wolf? You know that. <laughs> you in your damn town, shaking in your boots, are you? Down don't find the killer soon. Just might go looking for a savage. Gonna have to have someone to blame. If I were you, I'd watch your back. Always do. Used to be room for everything out here. Maybe now it's just getting too crowded. You can always move on. Why? Because I don't belong here? All this used to be ours. Hey, mister. Something you should think on. I live in two worlds. Got one foot in each. But I got nowhere to stand. Don't get in my way. seem happy to see me. I don't like surprises. Maybe I should go. Didn't realize you and Rutman were on such intimate terms. We're not. Don't lie to me. What is it, Clay? Are you jealous? Not with an arm, not exactly friends, as you will know. Now, what are you hurting? He stopped me on the street. Why? What is this? Huh? You've been telling tales at a school, hmm? Stop it, you're hurting me. He sent you here to spy on me. You come in here, look at my private papers when my back is turned. Is that what this is? Why would I do that, huh? I should have known better than to trust a... Oh, yeah? Come on, say it. I'm a whore. Your world. <laughs> Damn it! Don't. Flory. Come on, you're being silly. Hmm? Give it to me. Give it to me. My wild cat. I was just testing you. You should know you can trust me. Huh. Oh, that's better. Mm. You, you gotta come. Why? Well, we're partners, ain't we? What are you talking about? I'm Bob. There's blood all over everywhere. Are you just lying there? Come on. I was gonna go feed my pigs, and there it was just, just sitting there. That rope cut into him pretty bad. Yes. He took a hard blow to the head, which would have given the killer time to tie Rutman up. Multiple stabbings. But it's the one here, right in the heart, that killed him. Hmm. I could be wrong, but all the evidence seems to indicate that the deceased was struggling for quite some time before the killer finished his work. 
First his partner and now Rutman. Somebody bore those boys a mighty big grudge. Mr. Rutman weren't too friendly yesterday, but maybe he had a lot on his mind. Maybe he knew someone was after him. Maybe somebody from right here in this town. Well, I for one won't be sitting around comfortably wondering when he's gonna strike next. Gentlemen. Well, this could be the end of it. Not till folks get someone to lynch. Two men been slaughtered in my town, and I intend to find out who did it. Now, if you know anything about it, I suggest you tell me. All right. I knew Rotman a long time ago. He and Russell used to run all these scams. I had nothing to do with it, except sometimes I would entertain their clients. I don't know who killed them. I just don't know. I want to believe that. I'm frightened, Clay. I need your protection. Maybe I'm the one who needs protection. Did you kill Truth from you. How could you think it would do something like that? Well, maybe you had help. The trouble with you, Clay, is you don't know when you've got a good thing. The Undertakers, they got more business than they can handle. What are you doing here? Same as you, looking to get rich quick. No man deserves to die like Rutman did. Funny, huh? He puts up a bounty for his own killer. Strange sense of humor you got there. It helps sometimes. I guess you picked this place clean. Ain't nothing around. I guess there'd be no point in going over to Twyla's asking if Rutman had been there last night. He wasn't. You ain't new to this, are you? I gotta do whatever I can to get by. Imagine you do. If we take into account that the killer premeditated every step, then we begin to move in on the mind of the killer now, for the density of Mr. Rutman's musculature, it's clear he was very strong. So now we have to consider, did the killer have accomplices? Well, that's what I was thinking. If he didn't, then we can only assume the killer is extremely strong. But despite all that, judging solely from the positioning of the wounds, I would have to say that the killer, or killers, were performing a ritualistic murder, intended not only to punish the victim, but also to terrify an entire town. Why don't you just shut up? I beg your pardon? You heard me. Why don't you just keep your opinions to yourself? You think anyone's interested anyways? You, Flory, leave him alone. Now, I have no problem with you eating here. If you don't start acting a little nicer, you're going to be taking your meal someplace else. It's just a theory. And you, would you keep your theories out of my dining room? Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just this whole business has the town turned upside down. 
worry, Miss Amanda. I've got an idea who the killer might be. Is that right? It's best to don't say too much till I'm sure. I understand. You just keep at it, on Bob. A lot of good that's going to do. And don't pay him any mind. At least he's not sitting around here all day scaring folks. You're pretty good with that knife. What else you been skinning, Injun? Maybe we cut out a little piece of your heart, we find ourselves a nice bounty, huh? You're having some fun. This half-breed don't look good to me. Man's cagey. Oh, they are. <laughs> that his knife? Yeah. And we're gonna make him talk. Conversation's personal. you out. It's no business of yours. Oh. What the hell are you? A ticket on the stage. You weren't gonna leave town without saying goodbye now, were you? When you get it into your head to tell me everything you know, you come see me. Give me a hand. Found out back at Twilight's. I'll go get Cleese. He's on his way. Clay, this is out of hand. Nobody's safe. When Cleese gets here, you send him up. That's fine. Zeke, you can leave now. You get some men together, you can search the streets. Hmm? Huh? Didn't you just tell me everything? Now I'll look at you. How long ago did you find her? Uh, maybe ten minutes. Has she said anything? No. You, uh, you know how bad off she is? I don't know. Let me just dress the wounds. I'll just have to wait and see. Didn't seem to finish it this time. Mr. Mosby took her away. Dr. Cleese said he fixed her up, but he doesn't know. Doesn't know what? If Flory will wake up again. What is it, Mr. Cole? I had him. I let him go. Who? Gabe. Oh, my lord. 
Why would he want to hurt Miss Flory? Flory? Flory, can you hear me? Hi. Who was it? Who did this to you? How's she doing? I'm going after the Métis. Oh, Clay, it wasn't your fault. She asked for my protection. I'll look after her while you're gone. Mr. Call. Yep. Man's gotta watch his back around here. This is my family, what's left of them. Pick him up. My mother inside? No, they're both dead. Mr. Call's a bounty hunter. Come to take me back to Curtis Wells. To hang me. He's not very good, huh? No, he's very good, Mother. There's gonna be more. I know. Come eat, then go. Stand up. This is all we have left, and you want to take this away, too? I don't want to take nothing. You already have. Sit down. Eat. Is that your boy? Yes. That's what he was. Now he's nobody's again. Only one left in his village, cholera. He was only seven years old when I found him. The rest were dead. He can't speak another gift from civilization. I'm sorry. What the hell are you apologizing for? For the buffalo? Too late for that. Maybe for those fences you put up all over. And then when we step across them, you kill us. That gave you the right to kill Ruppman and Russell. They killed my father. 
your friend the whore helped them. Is the woman dead? No. Good. My son's not evil. He was away. When he came back, his father was dead. Murdered by those men. And he found silver. Everything was going to be good. They got him drunk. They stole everything. Papers for the claim, maps. He tried to find justice. They laughed. Crazy matey. He tried more. They crippled him. Left him to die in the sun. And my husband was strong. He came home. Then he died. I'm ready. Running out now. If you lean the wrong way, they'll kill you. When I'm gone for enough time, let him go. You've taken away our future, but you've got your life. That's what I owe you. If you come looking for me and I see you again, I'll kill you. He won't be back. Like a dog, Mosby. Too late for your bounty call. You sure you can shoot me like that? You can always turn around. That's your best shot, isn't it? I can't let you do that. Tell you what, Cole, you can have the money. But I get him. It's not about the bounty. Then stay out of this. He had a reason for it. Everybody does. The man should be hurt. Be a mighty short trial. But it'll be a trial. Put your gun down, Mosby. You shoot me, you're not riding out of here alive. Neither are you. Throw him on his horse. Good 
for you, Cole. Been a long time since you've shown any respect for the law. Call was right to stop my shooting you. I would have deprived the town and indeed myself the greater pleasure of watching you hang. <sighs> Mr. Cole? What do you want, Mosby? I'd like to thank you. That was a rash moment for me, I suppose in the heat of the chase, I forgot myself. Every man deserves his day in court. When's his trial? I don't know, sometime before the hanging. You ain't so quick to get him hung because of what he did to Russell and Rutman. Oh? It's because of what he did to Flory. If he'd killed Flory, there wouldn't even be a trial. She had her part in what they did to his father. You let me worry about that. Stick to what you know. Guess that floor is more than just another whore to you. Huh, Mosby? Oh, Bounty's waiting for you at the sheriff's office. It's over now. But you should have told me about Ruckman. I was telling the truth. Not all. I didn't know all of it. There were so many drunks so many times. I knew Rotman was running swindles. But I didn't know they'd killed anyone. Oh. Well, you just rest up. Get better now, you hear? And then what? Then we go back to things as they were. Lucky me. For God's sake, Flora, I brought the bastard back to pay for what he did to you. Now, what the hell else do you want from me? I want my ticket back. You're a troublemaker, you know that? <laughs> Let me inside. So now you got the bounty you wanted. What the hell else you want with me? Nothing. Silver burning a hole in your pocket? Rutman didn't worry about it when he took my father's silver and killed him. Why should you? Could have killed the girl. Yeah, but I didn't. You could break me out of here, give me a gun. Or you could shoot me now. It'd be a better thing than hanging out there so your town people can think they got the justice they needed. Hang the savage, close the book. You knew when you started off on all this how it was going to end. I've known that all my life. But a man's dead already if you don't fight for something. Yeah? Who's this for, I'm Bob? Mr. Gabe. Nothing like getting a jump on things. Well, Mr. Mosby come by and told me to make the box. He pay you up front? Yeah. You keep the money. Forget about this box. How are we gonna bury him? Figure that out after the trial. What? Mr. Mosby says sometimes the trial's just a way to see the person you're gonna hang up close. How about a spoon? Man's last meal. Might as well finish it.
How did he die? Fighting. 